Mm-hmm. New aqua du gel. Finally got it. Hey friends, Ash here with Sense. Hope you're doing well. If you've been around for a while, you know that this one, the original Aqua de Joe, was basically my wingman for years back when I was younger. This was my signature scent. I wore this an unholy amount. I went through, I couldn't even tell you how many bottles. And more recently, Aqua de Joe Profundo, I think is fantastic. Absolutely love this one too. Then of course there's Aqua de Joe Profumo, Aqua de Joe Profundo Lights. There are so many Aqua de Joes out there that people love. And now finally, the new Aqua de Joe Eau de Parfum, the newest flanker in the lineup, took forever to get my hands on this. And now that I finally have this one, I'm gonna go ahead and unbox it, show you guys the presentation, spray it on and see how this stacks up. Is it better than Profundo? Better than Profundo Lights? Or is it just kind of forgettable? Let's find out. And I'm gonna go ahead and link this one in the description below where I picked it up from, and also links to some of my other favorite Aqua de Joes. Let's go ahead and crack into this one. Let's open it up. Gonna have to banish the cellophane. <clears throat> the box is very simple, has a, a papery sort of feel to it. You got the name of the house, name of the fragrance, size and concentration on the front there. Giorgio Armani logo on top of the box. On the side, you have little info about how you can refill this bottle. On the back, you have the ingredient information. And on the bottom, you'll find your batch code. Batch code is pressed into the box. Bit difficult to see, so we'll just read it off the bottle. And here we have the bottle. Looks really similar in style to the Aqua de Joe Essenza bottle, only this one has a black wooden cap. So you got the name of the fragrance, the concentration there on the front, Giorgio Armani on top of the cap. On the bottom, sticker with your batch code which is 38U003T. The cap does click into place and you have a little GA for Giorgio Armani on top of the atomizer, looks good. Overall, I like the presentation, I like the bottle, it looks classy, it looks nice. Well, the time has arrived. Let's go ahead and spray this on. Let's see how it smells, fingers crossed. It's got a little rindiness to it, a little bit of rind from the mandarin orange in the top here. So it's got this little slight bitterness to the opening. Smells really good though. Very uplifting, refreshing, not heavy handed on the sweetness, just the right amount. And you do have more of an aromatic undertone here, that clary sage kind of coming up through the opening right away. I'm gonna go ahead and spray the original Eau de Toilette over on this arm so I can have a direct comparison. The original is much more floral, less green, doesn't have that little bit of bitterness off the top. Mm. I like this a lot. Yeah, I'm digging this. I'm kind of like jumping around on my seat a little bit. This is carrying forward with the idea that Profundo put out there, Profundo Lights put out there, this kind of grown up, sophisticated, modern take on Aqua de Joe. That's what this is. Love the way the citrus is coming across here. Not too sweet, not synthetic. It doesn't have any bubblegum facets to it. It's really interesting smelling this side by side with the Eau de Toilette also, because when you smell that EDT, yes, it's classic and I love it, but it does smell from a different time period when you compare it to the Eau de Parfum here. Yeah, obviously they're from different time periods, I know, but it becomes so much more apparent when you smell them side by side. I went ahead and gave Profundo a little spray over here as well, so I can kind of contrast and compare there a little bit as well. At least in the opening here, Aqua de Joe Profundo comes across a little bit sweeter than Aqua de Joe Eau de Parfum. The Eau de Parfum, a little bit more bitter, a little bit more tart. I'm really liking this. This is this is really good. A great change on the Aqua de Joe DNA. Now I'm a sucker for Aqua de Joe. I've said that a million times, so be aware of that, but I love how this is coming across. So what I'm gonna do is let this dry down a little bit, and then I'm gonna come back and wrap things up. I'm also gonna check with my wife, see what she thinks about it like always. So stay tuned, I'll be right back. But so far, so good, I'm loving it. I'm back, let's go over everything. First off, the wife, the opening, amazed by it, she loved it. Dry down, she didn't love as much as the opening, but still thought it smelled really, really good. Now, as far as my thoughts with the whole dry down, the entire experience, projection, longevity, all that stuff. Well, I guess let's start back at the beginning and work all the way through really quickly. So I sprayed it on a second time, wore it a second time. The opening, I love it. Absolutely love it. That little bit of rindiness, just the right amount of sweetness. The mandarin orange smells amazing. The marine notes give it a little bit of a saltiness. You've got that aromatic feeling coming from the clary sage immediately. That slight green tinge that it has, I think it's great. I love the opening of this stuff. 
got more density and depth than the original. Doesn't have very much of that floral feel coming through in this one. Yeah, there's lavender and there's geranium, but it, it's much different from the Eau de Toilette in the sense of how much of a floral feeling that it puts across. As it dries down, you retain a little bit of that minerality from the opening of the fragrance and the mid, and the vetiver actually comes out a bit and you get this little bit of a, a faint, almost smokiness. Not too terribly much, but a little bit. And then the patchouli note in here is gonna be more of a clean patchouli. It doesn't go you know, really dirty, earthy, anything like that, which of course you would expect because this is after all an aqua de jo. Aqua de Joe de Parfum reminds me vaguely of taking bits and pieces from other parts of the line and mixing them together, kind of giving them a twist, if you will. So there's a little bit of the Eau de Toilette in here, the original, which you would expect because that's the Aqua de Joe DNA right there. Even a little bit of Essenza, which kind of makes sense because as I mentioned earlier, the bottle basically is an Essenza bottle, only it says Eau de Parfum on the bottom, outside of the wooden cap, of course. You could tie in Profundo to this one a little bit as well because of that aromatic flair that this has. And that faint little, very faint waft of almost smokiness that you pick up in the Eau de Parfum, you could probably draw a line to Aqua de Jo Profumo with that. So it's this mixture basically of Aqua de Jo's greatest hits all put together and given a little twist. For an aquatic fragrance, this stuff is sophisticated and modern. It wouldn't smell out of place in a number of more formal situations. And that's because they did keep that sweetness in check. You know, it didn't go overboard. Even in the opening, when you're getting the most amount of that citrus, it never whops you over the head. So you can use this just about anywhere. And I'd say the age range is wide open as well. Maybe much younger guys would gravitate more toward one of the other ones in the lineup that is a little bit sweeter, but I think pretty much anybody can pull this off. Obviously with this being an Aqua du Jo, most people are going to consider this a spring and summertime fragrance and more of a daytime fragrance, but it does have that big versatility I talked about before, so you could pretty easily pull this off during the evening, I'd say also. And I wouldn't put it out of question to use this in fall or winter time. I've talked about this a bunch of different times on the channel, but a lot of times those fresher fragrances, those summertime fragrances smell amazing in the cold. Obviously this just came out and it's heating up right now, so I'm not gonna be able to test that for a while, but it could work. And it does have more density and a little more heaviness than you might expect as it dries down and that patchouli and vetiver come out and make themselves known, that woodiness comes out in the base. Now performance wise, keep in mind, this is the first time I'm wearing it, so take it with a little grain of salt, but it seems to be really good actually. It projects really well, much better than you might expect going into it with it being an Aqua de Jo. Not that Aqua de Jo is necessarily a weak fragrance line, but you know, it's got Aqua in the line. So automatically people are going to assume that at best it's probably gonna project moderately. But this stuff really pushes out and it lasts forever it seems like. It's going strong from where I first sprayed it on. I can easily pick this stuff up hours later. So longevity, don't have you know an exact time frame to give you guys right now, but this stuff seems to last and project very well. So in case you can't tell, I love this. This is an awesome release. I am an Aqua de Jo fan, like I said earlier, but I don't love all Aqua de Jo's. There are some that have come out that I'm not really keen on. It's a very nice twist, and I'm a little bit curious to see where they go next. Do they take it a step further, or try to go even richer, even deeper, and do Aqua de Jo Parfum or Aqua de Jo Elixir or something like that? Or do they take it a step back and freshen things up a lot and lighten it up a bit and make more of a, a cologne style of Aqua de Jo? Or something entirely different? I guess we'll see. But as of now, just first impressions. I'm really impressed. I dig this stuff. I like this more than I liked Profundo Lights as far as the first impressions go. Profundo Lights did grow on me, but I like this more right off the bat than I did Profundo Lights. And I'd say this is right up there with Profundo as far as how much I liked it right off the bat. Really lovely. This stuff is fantastic. Ooh, it smells good for me, Atomizer too. And this is another circumstance where I'm pumped. I didn't for sure know what to expect. I was anticipating that I might be let down a little bit, but I'm not. Aqua du Jo Eau de Parfum, really pumped. Very happy to have this finally. And just in time too, heading into spring, I'm gonna wear this a lot. Unfortunately, I already filmed my spring designer top 10. I might have I might have put this in there, honestly. But uh, you know, there's summer, summer's coming. So, so there we go, Aqua du Jo Eau de Parfum from Giorgio Armani. I love it, I'm really pumped.
very happy. Uh, not much else to say. I'm just, I'm just glad because you just hate to see one of your favorite fragrance lines come out with something and then you get hyped for it and get it in and it sucks, just so deflating. So I'm very happy that I love this one. So there we go, guys. If you smelled this, let me know what you think about it in the comments. Thank you for hanging with me. Thank you for your support. Stay safe out there. I'll see you guys tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you later.